within each of the scenes in order um, will we suppose for whole government's position to start for work uh, now yeah but the uh, join me this night process we the end the dialogue uh, today with the third day the 18th of October uh, 2023 and as you see the signing still go on uh, for making uh, national uh, provision documents with uh, me say they for now participate in governance and say for the sake of the country, for put the country uh, above our party interest and for work for the country from now on going forward. And uh, the people and we facilitate the dialogue for the past three days. Uh, let me say the process it may be fair, inclusive and also a mutual. So but we still will get later on from the two parties. We know say we don't hear a lot of things if the things and we didn't demand for during this dialogue uh, it would reflect that this documents we they don't sign today. Now uh to money Naya inside the process they take place right now and the signing still they go on and after which we will forget the statements statements then from both the all people's congress party with the APC and also the government side may all man of talk people of Sierra Leone and start from here. And if you can see Yabat on the government side where you can see the chief minister, the minister of foreign affairs and international operation and the minister of our local government and Bokumoku minister then we also deal at this part with the government side and over uh, all the people's congress uh, party leadership that they did it. and if you see now the uh, meeting now the uh, the diplomat and, and foreign missions inside the see the u.s ambassador uh, the eu ambassador and other ambassadors and we then come and other diplomatic uh, uh, mission officials then we did uh, for witness uh, this process and uh, whilst the signing will go on, we will look for talk to the possibly being represent the uh, government side with no less a person but the chief minister when I talk to David Monina Senge. So uh, tell Fambu them how you feel uh, after this process done done today and which are some of the key things then we will not come uh, the common ground things then I think so I do think about it as a start the start of a good and beautiful moment for someone where we all the committees to make sure say, we address challenge then we will solve the future right, possibilities um, I think say the fact that we able to resolve people then say can say we get so much different say between APC and the big government maybe wedged in but actually we can sit around the table and we resolve driven by our own mutual understanding concessions agreements um, and then they show the power of Sierra Union and ultimately the power of more engagement dialogue and are the most important part for us. Okay and because like you are here in a salon and people they expect a lot of things oh this is no go whole WhatsApp but from within don't happen what you go on for tell uh, salon people oh. We kind of this with a lot of hope. Of course, they've been same impossible, but the fact say we able to come together, we agree, nothing in these documents, but we able to feel our line by line. Um, that Boku concession, Boku thing that we all want, we them 
but ultimately what's in the end are the people of this country that they win. Not to SLP win, not to APC win, not to the government win, not to the opposition win. The people of Salon that they win. And that are the most important part. Okay, and as you say, say it's at some point it been seen, like it's like been seen impossible. And this uh, nah, dialogue we don't go uh, on for the past three days. So what's in that been the most difficult thing during this dialogue? Um, I mean, it, it, it probably, I don't think it's to say it's the most difficult part. Why is that? Because, because it is, uh, because it is uh, you know, it's confidential. But I think, say, in terms of experience, the most difficult thing, uh, uh, just the procedure in the room all day. Okay. So we hear that. You just stay in the room. You want to go some time, but you're not able to go. Okay. But the, so much. the thing we enjoy, but we will learn from that, just looking across and seeing the way they are across from you. Now there's no deal with the friend between now two. Okay. Now we all believe in the same values. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. So, and we go to. Just don't sign uh, this communique. So, and this don't go on for the past three days. So, all the things that we did at that communique, he reflects when I demand them. This is a journey for those that for solving a political impasse, not to one day business, especially where the two parties they pull apart. than two extreme positions. But it's an achievement, it's a good start. So we appreciate you doing that because. Okay. And one of the things that we the resolutions them say uh, the APC parliamentarians uh, uh, the mayors, chairmen, councillors, then for return and take office, but uh, they, uh, they don't make time. Day. So, is there any time for less salon people and go we'll see then uh, officials here for return and go we'll take them positions? Then, when the time reaches, we'll go. If I tell you just now, it's a positive step in the right direction. Is that so we don't rush anything? Putting on for you take time for me. Well, is for me. Not so. so let's see what happens going forward. Okay, but we don't get time for the go on for go assume the office. It will happen. All right, and uh, also because uh, today a lot of people are rerun, and is that something where the APC still uh, they look forward to? We think we achieve the dialogue. Now we think they within the mandate of the mediators. Um, so we appreciate the efforts to them come. Uh, of course, the APC will go to stand for. We continue for what we should stand for. Yeah. All right, lastly, before I leave you, so which will be the most difficult thing during this dialogue process? When are the limitations? What do you mean by that? Limitation. They get their own terms of, terms of reference. As I said, the two parties then they pull us apart. The dialogue not to court. The dialogue therefore not even for can court case. But then it take one to a journey we will make and solve our problems and going forward. Thank you so much for talking. All right, so that not been the uh, leader. We same way so na the uh, chief negotiator. Uh, we na for, on behalf of the All People's Congress Party. We na no less a person, but uh, uh, Doctor uh, Samura Kamara. We na been the presidential candidate for the 2023 uh, presidential election. So and I be just a talk to them because uh, the leadership then people.
people for take the position itself, but uh, it just tell me say they don't get time, but when the time comes, uh, the people like people who take them uh, various positions. So then we get the people like we be part of the negotiating team and uh, we get possibly be we represented from the Commonwealth. Uh, could you please tell me with your name and your designation? My name is uh, retired judge uh, of appeal from Kenya. I'm Rafael Bogoli Saga. Okay. So how would you describe this three days process? Um, there was a lot of cause uh, mistrust right from the beginning. But uh, at the end of the three days, we are happy that the parties have been able to come together and committed themselves to the agreement that they have just signed. Okay. And also, uh, the Commonwealth has been a key partner in making sure that this dialogue is, is being a hold. And now we are at this point. What is your message to people of uh, Sierra Leone? As you know, Commonwealth has been walking around um, along with the Sierra Leone people right from independence, has committed itself to ensuring that there is peace and democracy. At the end of it all, I think it is important to note that our commitment to support Sierra Leone is unwavering and we shall continue to work along with the people of Sierra Leone in the implementation of this agreement. We are committed that they do not fail in this uh, process and that the leaders should also commit themselves to ensuring that uh, democracy prevails and that all the terms and conditions set out in the agreement are complied with and that uh, for the sake of peace and um, tranquility in this country, all shall be well. Okay. And you said uh, from the beginning there had been some form of mistrust. So in that regard, what would be your message? Because at the end of the day, you were able to conquer, but people are still out there hearing something from the Commonwealth. Um, mistrust is a natural thing, and especially in democracy and leadership. Uh, I believe uh, with the signing of this agreement, the mistrust has been diminished, and looking forward, we see Sierra Leone, which is more committed to peace, and the people of Sierra Leone definitely will be the beneficiaries of this arrangement. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. And we also get the chairman for the Peace Commission, where Nadena, the architect of this uh, peace dialogue. So, uh, tell you as your name, and you're now waiting. Me na Reverend Shodanke Johnson, me na the chairman for the Peace Commission. Okay. And um, may for understand, say, like the process, when, when I make it in such a way that when I get like something where you buy like three gold stem, it's like when I don't achieve the one. So you would tell Fambu them waiting at the thing then day? I think one of the things we try to get the the uh, leaders and the parties and the government and the all people's congress first of all sit around for us for talk to themselves. Uh, conflict are part of life, you know, a misunderstanding issues that can come up, um, grievances, genuine issues, so, and then try for at least see how they will get common ground and begin the negotiation. So that'll be the first part, and I think we will try for do now for many, we take a lot of days, nights of debate, of talking, of arguments, and maybe, you know, challenges, but at least the good thing is that you as a family and talk, and we don't get to this conclusion, this force, well, not to really force results, but at least we don't even conclude the dialogue, we'll get in three days there. And now, now for begin for continue for implement all what they now agree on. Okay, and one thing we uh, ask the, the chief negotiator, if not so, I call him for the All People's Congress Party, you know, Dr. Samura Kamara, because one of the things that we read in the uh, resolutions and say the people and we win, we supposed to take offices, therefore take office. But I ask him, he say when the time reach, then we take him. So within a be a conclusion on that. Well, I think there's so many things that we agree on, and so um, I think this way, this is a document 
itself will be exposed to everybody if you read uh, on the document there are issues with what happened and then so I think maybe that that's in the talk when those things happen but are they you know based on the documents I know say when they read that bridge they will cross the bridge they have to say they don't talk about it okay so because like this then are one key side where salon people be the wait for year reform so some would say oh they forbid don't give timeline but what do you mean timeline or they I think the documents in case of timeline. No, in the area of for them for take them. Okay, uh, well, yes. I feel say we go. It's um now as soon as possible. I don't want to say much about that. The documents can like, speak for yourself, but I believe that um, you know if by the spirit of the document, if you go by the spirit of the document, I believe say then they go. All right. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you. And uh, we also get. Uh, a lot of, okay, a lot of people then. Occasion, and uh, as you can see, maybe the middle here, the maybe foreign motion center they come for observe the uh, ongoing, not ongoing again, dialogue we don't complete today. And uh, as you hear it from uh, both sides, they don't come and put some things them to paper. Even though a lot of things not seem to get timeline on when it will happen, because uh, people I mean, they eager for Yeri if uh, the parliamentarians, the councillors, the district chairpersons, the mayors of the all people's congress party if they will uh, take them offices or not uh, but the documents say they will assume office but uh, uh, time frame you know they will uh, even the peace commission and uh, the leader of the APC uh, you know it will for provide uh, time when that could happen but they say this now uh, a starting point for uh, something we will need for then we will see the participation of the main opposition of people's congress party being felt in the different offices that we then suppose uh, for hope and the signing process still the go on now yeah? we side uh, <coughs> dialogue way organized by the Commonwealth, facilitated, so to speak, by the Commonwealth, the African Union, uh, ECOWAS Commission, and the Peace Commissioner Salon, we organized because of the uh, problem we have between the government and the All People's Congress Party uh, before during and after the June 24, 2023 uh, general elections. And this is not a process we don't they go on for the past three days. And today, na, the last day, we then don't sign a communique. And as you can see at the table, people still the sign. And uh, after the Medonki, the open remarks, it will be there with me. Uh, from the beginning, you will see uh, a moment way the people from the government side, I mean the government of Sierra Leone, and also people from the All People's Congress Party, will be led by the, uh, the flag bearer of the 2023 general election, the uh, whole set, shake hands, uh, also the, at some points we the holding crap and sing the national anthem above political party. So still day with we with the program not end it because the signing still the going. And remember this they happen in the eyes of the EU with the represented yeah the British uh, Commission, we also the Commissioner Dinaya, which is our Commissioner, the, uh, the Irish People and Self Dinaya, and Semuso, the uh, Ambassador, the US Ambassador, and the 
uh, for the foreign missions and they have for witness uh, this occasion with the, the crown state and hopefully after this from which I don't say we will see uh, in the area of governance uh, we will see an inclusive governance we will start for doing work and the main opposition of the Post Congress uh, party in self who uh, participates in the work. Of this principles in the context of our 
2023 presidential and general elections under the auspices of the Stadium Electoral Commission. And that's why when the APC accepted to come to this dialogue, the idea was to try to break the impasse that resulted out of what happened when the results were announced. It's over 100 days. The healing still goes on, and the healing will continue to go on. The dialogue is historic. It's historic in the sense that this is the very first time we have had such an unprecedented and fundamental question of democratic principles in Senate It's the very first time that two political parties are getting together to try to resolve the impasse or the statement. And I'm sure this is the very first time some of the debaters have been called upon to challenge this difficult responsibility. I want to thank our friend, Reverend Johnson and his colleagues for convening and facilitating this dialogue. We call it a dialogue for the whole that uh, to provide an opportunity for two parties irrespective of the fact that uh, they are coming from distant extreme ends, very, very distant extreme ends. The dialogue will provide an opportunity to start the journey of bringing two parties together, trying to arrive at what we always call a review of resolutions solutions that would appease not only the two parties, but all other stakeholders, in particular the people of the who are in a very, very arrogant manner. But we do not come here to fight. We are hoping the dialogue would uh, rationalize how it happened, why it happened, and what measures could we put together to make sure it never happens again. We have started the journey. It's not the end of the road. This is the first step of a very, very long journey. We can shorten it if we all agree to accept the truth, and follow the truth, and fulfill what it means to achieve the truth. But if we do not, we continue to behave as if everything is normal when we have this entrenched and strange deficits in our institutional performances, then it's been very, very, very difficult to do We will not be able to achieve the prospects of Sterango. It's not just serious prospects. But, as I always say, we are sure changing this because we will not be able to match our political aspirations to that of the country. There's a complete mismatch between our politics and what it takes to move to a new form, what it takes to improve the welfare of our people. We have to be able to understand and accept these realities. Move forward. That's why I 
بزرگتر این بودم از کردی زنی جاستیز مدیل آفرین پارتنرز کیا پریزنس کیا رسیدنس بیس 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 Journalist was asked if you will achieve what you came there for. I said, well, I achieved what I had to achieve within the context of the times of reference and the capabilities of the mediation of the ship. The Kenyan had their own times of reference. We walked along this time. Yes, we may not have achieved what the APC actually has been fighting for. And we all know what the APC has been fighting for. An erosion in our democracy, a blatant for the privation of the rights of the ambassy of the But what we have achieved within the context of this dialogue is a very good step. We should appreciate that and move forward.
but rather it's a commitment that this government has made. Our hope is that our state institutions, many of which have shown that they can be resilient, that they can lead, can be captured from what has happened here over the last couple of days. In particular, we want to highlight the Independence Commission for Peace and National Cohesion. For me, I have children who are still in kindergarten. Our hope is that those children and all children of this country will learn from this historic moment that our differences, no matter how wide, no matter how much we may disagree, no matter how much invectives people say, no matter how extreme some of our members can be, that our differences can be solved around the small table and the very hot, tiny room where people who may not have spoken to each other for months can look at each other and express the things that they disagree on. My hope is that our children will see that example and learn from it. Today, in this room, in the middle of the day, I was very hungry, tired, thirsty. My team did not give me a water. The Peace Commission did not give me water. The person who gave me an apple was Dr. Samura Kamara. I think it's important that we understand the symbolism of this and why I did not take that for granted. We've all been in a place where there's so much distrust and yet the best part of my day was biting in a cold, refreshing apple when it seemed like we were going nowhere. That gave me hope. We believe that justice, democracy, peace are fundamental for our human and economic values. That's our belief as a party, and that's the belief that His Excellency President Julius Mahdabu continues to remind us of every day in government. We believe in dialogue. Not because we must all agree all the time, but because we understand that dialogue drives unity. All of this is embodied by our commitments to transparency, accountability, and the rule of law. As I stated a couple days ago, we work within the laws. That does not mean laws may not have been broken before, it just means that as a people, we will continue to be better. We will continue to work towards more justice. We will continue to work towards more unity. That's our commitment. As a government, we commit to continue working on strengthening our democracy. We continue to broaden inclusion, radical inclusion. We will continue to promote equitable access to justice. That's our commitment to the people of Sierra Leone. Again, I will agree with my uncle, Dr. Samura Kamara. There's only one winner. It is not the SLPB. It is not the ABC. It is not the government of Sierra Leone. The winner today is the people of Sierra Leone. <laughs> Allow me to end to thank all of us.
for the commitments that we made towards these ideals. May God bless the Republic of Sierra Leone and God bless all of all, all of us. Thank you.
and we hope that you keep working, not just for the government of Sierra Leone, but all the people of Sierra Leone as you're doing. We want to thank the team on the ground, and that's all the staff, um, especially the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. They've been exceptional. Some of them have not been sleeping, they've been picking up guests, dropping off guests four o'clock in the morning, and it's like round the clock. Most of the staff on the ground, the drivers, and even the cleaners, they've not been sleeping because we've been here very, very late, and so they will sleep maybe two hours a day. That's how we've been running um, for the last, um, I'll say one of the three days. Three days before just the meeting, but even the planning towards the, the, the meeting itself. And I will not forget the ICPNC staff, this commission, or the board members. You people have been exceptional. Some of them are sleeping in the office. <laughs> they have been exceptional. We want to thank you for what you've been doing. I want to talk to Sierra Leoneans. Sierra Leoneans. I want to say social media. Latok you know what my Social media, Gia, peace don't come. Peace don't come, oh, peace don't come. When I saw people in the office, they said, eh, peace don't come. Do you have yeah, one day where one take this make provocation where they take that? This commission where they take that? Yeah? Let me know, say, let me always say. Eh? Ask not them all no. And if you find out, say, now that kind of problem they make with each police, now they tell IG say, yeah, that person they let go sleep day first. So next time, what a person not going to do the same thing again? Do you have yeah, let always say as brother and sister than as court? It's important. If you see when a man had in the kitchen, now in uncool the gear apple, you said begin to come pink or water. Eh, the gear apple for the lower stream now it goes. When you don't ban now for two. Do you have a bed? Let me begin the let me begin the let me begin the long go setback. It's key, it's important. For make some long go before. Eh? Let me look who said now we are and say we don't forgive you. Do you have a bed at the base? Again, we want to say thank you and thank you again to everybody for being here. We do appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts and may God continue to make this step progress because it's, just, it's not just a one day thing. It's a process that we all have to go through and hopefully in time to come we will say thanks to everyone and thanks to God for this process that has started that will become a new thing. Thank you. Thank you. We've come to the end of this. This program. Thank you very much. The dialogue don't end.
much historical moment. So all of those difficult discussions have resulted in the great union of the